today I'm thinking of doing a Dutch pour with a lot of white negative space. So I've already prepped my surface here with uh, just white paint, not much else. I've already torched the bubbles out and I've got, uh, I've chosen some bright yellow, some beautiful pink, um, and then some beautiful turquoise. And I've got a bit of leftover purple, so I may put a little bit of that in there. Uh, now, as for recipe, I've approximately put about one part of paint, two parts flow troll, uh, no water and no silicone. So, let's get to it. I put one puddle around here and one around there. As you can see the paints are quite liquid, so they should spread out nicely. I'm going to put the purple there. Here. Then my pink. And then a wee bit of yellow. I'm going to add some white. This time I'm actually going to put the paint right over it. Apologies for the uh, <laughs> suspicious, suspicious sound of the paint coming out. We'll just get all of it out. This is going to be a fatty video. This should make an interest, interesting effect actually having the, paint, the white paint squirt it in there like this. Who knows? We'll find out soon enough, won't we? Okay, a quick torch. Definitely a lot of bubbles here. And then let's just do the first petal first and then the second one. Okay, so as I mentioned, I wanted to leave some negative space in there. So that's why I left a bit of the white showing. You can see some beautiful little cells here. Give it one more torch. Really, really pretty colors. I'm just going to use my straw to kind of blow out some of the edges so they don't look so sharp. We got a little excited around here. <laughs> I'd add a little bit more white if I can get the left over in here. Really not much left. Let's see what I can scrape off from in there.
just trying to erase that section a little bit and make it a little bit more white so it matches the other side a little bit more that's all I'm trying to do okay I had to pause the video so I could really scrape off the rest of my white try to get as much as possible what I'm going to do is uh, is just blow some of this sort of slightly peachy color off the edge I should have done that first really but and replace it with a little bit more white just so it looks a little bit more like the pure white on the other side okay we're getting there since I had so much trouble getting it out in the, from the big bottle, I might as well just use all of it. And I can start again quickly. Okay, that's it. I'm going to give it a little torch again. I'm and check that there's no no uh, what I called what I call poo in there like bits of dry paint or or whatnot. Not seeing anything now, but who knows? So hard to see when the paint is wet, and then you see it when the painting is dry, and then it's always very disappointing. Actually, I'm going to blow these colors out because there's a bit of white here and there's no white on that edge. So it makes sense to make it match. torch and then I'll bring it down to show you what it looks like there you go nice and up close colors are so pretty some beautiful little cells hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up that will let me know that you like this and want more of those videos if you subscribe and tap the little bell icon then you'll be notified as soon as a new video is posted and if you have any questions or want to leave me a comment then definitely do so love to hear from you guys thanks so much for watching i'll see you at the next video bye for now